and he's gotten through certain injuries and healed from them pretty fast. And recently we can see that certain parts of his hair have been degrading faster than usual. More specifically, the crown of the head over here. And also the hairline. These are two Hey guys, you know what to beat yourself up. Now this video topic will be about Conor McGregor facing hair loss and how he can prevent it and what methods has he used so far to prevent it. Now before we get into the video though, go check out DrewStuffUp.com and make blog posts on a weekly basis on content I cover on this channel. From pharmacology, health, hormones, fitness, dating, life truths, you name it, I cover it. And now that being said, let's get into the video. So, Conor McGregor is a famous MMA fighter, lots of attitude, lots of a big attention and fan base following him. And recently he keeps on leaving certain bits and pieces here and there of evidence showing that he's facing certain hair loss problems. Now in MMA I've known that yes it's fighting and yes people use certain substances but apparently it is very common in MMA for people to use anabolic steroids. Things like human growth hormone, testosterone therapy, hormone therapy, peptides, you name it. Now we've seen so far that Conor McGregor is a very skilled athlete and he's gotten through certain injuries and healed from them pretty fast. And recently we can see that certain parts of his hair have been degrading faster than usual. More specifically the crown of the head over here and also the hairline. These are two main parts of the body of a man, of the head of a man that will induce hair miniaturization when hormones start fucking it over, like testosterone and DHT, dehydrotestosterone, derived from testosterone itself. Now there are certain ways you can prevent this like 5-alpha reductase inhibitors like finasteride, rutasteride, or using antiandrogen topical solutions like pyrotelamide, but it's very recent. I suggest you try out RU584-1. Currently we've, start, we've seen certain uh, pieces of evidence proving that yes, Conor McGregor is aware of his hair loss and he's slowly preventing it like getting hair transplants. We can tell a big difference from where the hair was to where it is afterwards based on the time of the photos and the density of the hairs. Not to mention a man of his caliber who has a lot to ride on and winning matches and based on his physical capabilities gains a lot more from using anabolic steroids than anyone else and he gains even more by keeping it under wraps, not telling anyone, not taking blood metrics to prove if he's natty or not. Because when it comes to making money, when it comes to fame, you need to perform. And if you start missing too many games or you, in this case MMA, if you lose too many matches or you don't make a big enough boom, you don't get paid, you don't get the attention. In fact, it goes away fast for what I hear. Based on people's opinions who've been in actual MMA fighting, like the infamous Andrew Tate talking about how fighting is not very uh, not very successful in terms of payments. Lots of you guys who are great fighters out there don't even get the slightest remark, attention, and fame that they deserve or pay for their skills. Fighting is the worst career path in history. Why? It, it's the worst career path in history. It Because it, it involves a degree of probability, much like modeling or being a musician, right? You can be a fantastic musician. You can be better than every known musician in the world. But if you don't know the right people, right place, right time, come up with the right tune, you're just not going to be famous. Same with models. The second thing is, it is show business. It's not all about how good you are. It's how good of a show you can sell. Especially something that takes so much out of you. Like training constantly, the punch it back, running, endurance, practicing, sparring. A lot goes into it. So, yeah, things you could do to prevent hair losses are pretty obvious. In his situation, the best thing he should use would be RU. Because again, RU will prevent hormones from attaching to the hair follicles. So you save your hormones and the body from being neutralized by fucking medications. And it will allow things like minoxidil and dermarolin to fast track the hair growth because it's not facing an uphill battle. It's facing a downhill battle because RU prevents any hormones from fucking up the hair. And using minoxidil as a topical liquid will allow it to come back without the whole DHT or testosterone fighting in between. Because yes, fellas, testosterone can cause hair miniaturization just as much, well actually not as much, a lot slower than DHT, but it still occurs. So let me know what you guys think. You think he's on here? You think he 
Got a hair transplant. Do you think he should look into RU? Give me your thoughts and opinions. With that being said, though, I'm in a pretty big rush, so don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on IG, Rumble, Reddit, and yourselfup.com. With that being said, let's continue this fucking momentum. Take care of chosen wisely. Do yourself out.